Welcome back. We're now just about eight weeks until Election Day. Two days from now, Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump will face off for a presidential debate. And now we're just a few days past Labor Day, so things really expected to ramp up in the race for the White House. Here to discuss it all, Fox 9 political analyst Blois Olson, who you're going to get to see more of because he's going to be joining us every Sunday now until Election Day. So thank you for that, first no of all. Uh, so much to talk about. We know that the candidates are busy uh, doing various things. Yep. Trump was in Wisconsin again yesterday, state he narrowly lost in, yes. back in 2020, but not so much of a presence in Minnesota. Is he scaling back? You know, that's the big discussion this week is when Biden was on the ticket, the Trump campaign said they were going to invest here. We haven't seen a lot of ads. They said they were going to open offices. They've made some hires, but it doesn't seem to be as robust as um, they would. National money has to go where states are competitive. Mm -hmm. And the map has shifted since Harris took over the Democratic nomination. So I think um, maybe they're not scaling back, but maybe they're not investing as much as they really once thought they would here in Minnesota. Yeah, and that kind of reflects how much of a splash that Governor Tim Walls has made yes. on this race. Uh, who's running the state as far as while well, he's out campaigning? We assume it's Lieutenant Governor. Yeah, the Lieutenant Governor's obviously stepped up. She's made more appearances. But um, I think it's an honest question to ask, like how are, is the state running? His chief of staff is still involved, even though his chief of staff is also on the campaign. Um, we haven't had any natural disasters. We haven't had anything like that. That would be a curveball that I think would raise the question louder and make more people ask it. Uh, but this is common for you know people when they run for president to not be around. As long as there's not an issue, I think people will let it go. But if there's an issue, people are going to expect him back in Minnesota. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm sure one issue that has come up that was as far different than any sort of, you know, natural disaster, but is kind of a mess is the situation with the Feeding Our Future yes. and that fraud scheme. And now there's a subpoena that with Walls' name on it. Talk about how that changes things. Congressional subpoena came out this week. Yeah. It's clearly political because Republicans controlled the House, so the chairman of this committee can subpoena Walls. But... It's a legitimate question. It was federal money used in, uh, in the Feeding Our Future fraud, and so Congress is going to want answers. The real question is, do they get him to appear before Congress, before the election? And if they're able to do that, that becomes a national distraction. Yeah, and that could be have huge ripple effects yes. in all sorts of different directions. Um, Tuesday is the presidential debate, reportedly the first time that Trump and Harris will actually meet face to face. I read somewhere, which is kind of wild that they have never met face to face. Um, but Governor Tim Walls plans to be there, either in the audience or waiting in the wings, yeah. uh, f obviously cheering on Kamala Harris. Is that typical? It's a strategy that they've taken on as teamwork. Bush Cheney did it, mm -hmm. uh, Clinton Gore did it. So they've, they're really campaigning as a team and that's kind of the spirit by which they're doing it. Meanwhile, you see Vance and Trump in very different places all the time, not together, doing different appearances. I think it's just part of the strategy and, um, and the way it's there. The Wall Street Journal wrote this week about how Tim Walls is folksy, but he's also an attack dog. And that can help after this debate. If he becomes kind of a surrogate spokesperson after the debate, that raises the profile for a spokesperson uh, for the Harris campaign. Yeah, we know when he was running for governor, he is a good debater. So that'll be our next conversation when it's his turn yes. uh, to debate. So maybe we'll talk about that next week. Boys Wilson, thank you so much, uh, our Fox 9 uh, political analyst. So we'll see you right here next Sunday. See you then. All right, thank you.